Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for September the 23rd. Today in 1459, the first major battle of the Wars of the Roses, the Battle of Bloor Heath, took place. In 1455, we'd had the first Battle of St. Albans, and after that, an uneasy peace kind of held throughout England, and there were some attempts to reconcile the houses of Lancaster and York, but they were unsuccessful, and both sides became increasingly wary of each other. By 1459, both sides were actively recruiting armed supporters. Queen Margaret of Anjou continued to raise support for Henry VI. Amongst the noblemen, she distributed an emblem of a silver swan to knights and squires enlisted by her personally. And the Yorkist command under the Duke of York was finding a lot of anti-royal support despite, of course, the severe punishment for raising arms against the king. So the Yorkist force was in Yorkshire, and they needed to line up with the main Yorkist army at Ludlow Castle in Shropshire. And as they marched through the Midlands, the queen ordered Lord Audley to intercept them. And he chose the Baron Heathland of Bloor Heath to set up an ambush. On the morning of the 23rd of September, 1459, a force of 10,000 men took up a defensive position behind a great hedge on the southwestern edge of Bloor Heath, facing the direction of Newcastle under Lyme to the northeast, the direction from which Salisbury was approaching. The Yorkist scouts spotted the Lancastrian banners over the top of the hedge and warned Salisbury. As they emerged from the woodland, the Yorkist force of 5,000 men realized that a much larger enemy force was awaiting their arrival. Instead of starting a fight right away, Salisbury arranged his troops into battle order, but just out of range of the archers, the Lancastrian archers. He was aware that any attack would be suicide, and so he wanted to try to trick the Lancastrians into attacking him. And the Lancastrians wound up launching a cavalry recharge. The whole thing wound up with a rout in the favor of the Yorkists. So this 10,000 person army was defeated by a 5,000 person army. And also the leader of the Lancastrians was killed. So it continued all evening, over 2,000 Lancastrians killed and the Yorkists lost about a thousand. So the Battle of Bloor Heath today, the first major battle of the Wars of the Roses. That's your Tudor Minute. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England and 15th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.